This project was made possible with the support from our friends over at RLS, True Tech Tools, Diversitech, GE Air and Water, Line Sets Inc., and Viper. All right, so we are back here at the uh, project at the camp, just to kind of go over everything, check it out, make sure everything's looking good, running smooth, uh, drain lines are draining properly, you know, just anything that we can check just to make sure that everything's running good and looking good before we head out, and, you know, back into Tennessee. So, um, so far it's looking good. Drain lines are draining properly. Uh, I don't see anything weird happening with line high coming apart. Everything looks solid, so can't complain there. We'll go ahead and uh, hop into some of these rooms and see how they feel. All right, so now that we're done installing on this project, we wanted to leave everyone with some cleaning products because they have over 75 different mini splits across the whole campus. So a lot of cleaning is involved. We wanna make sure that their equipment stays clean because that creates longevity for the new stuff and the existing as well. So Viper really hooked us up. We've got some uh, Viper wipes. Obviously that's more than just cleaning your hands. That's gonna be uh, wiping down the units themselves, whether you're cleaning the bore wheels, the cabinets, anything like that. We have the aerosol cans. So these are great for indoor or outdoor. It's a no rinsing on the inside. Um, of course, you can rinse it on the outside. And then the, the pan and drain treatment. This is a fantastic product. I really like to use that once you either clean the drain, like flush it out or uh, vacuum it out. If you do have a problem, you can go ahead and spray that in the, in the drain pan It'll also go down in the drain, uh, drain line and it's gonna prevent any clogging in the future, which is really nice. And then of course we got the normal, uh, the high strength condenser coil and these Venom packs. These are really nice. And you couple that with their foam gun and you can create the dilution ratio that you want, hook up your hose and you can just go to town cleaning a bunch of coils. And these packs, they're, um, they're concentrate. So it, it makes up to nine gallons per pack. So that's going to last them quite a while having two of these. All right, so everything is looking really good, which I'm very happy about. Uh, all the rooms feel good. They're at uh, set point. It's pulling humidity out. The drains are draining. No water leaking inside. With these units, um, as long as you are within the spec on total line length, you don't have to add or remove any refrigerant. So it's pre-charged, ready to go out the box. Um, there's no dip switches or settings or anything like that that you have to really fool with. So it's almost kind of like a plug and play situation. So as long as you're within those guidelines of total line length, then you're good to go. Um, obviously, if any of the zones were miswired or not landing in the right position as far as the A, B, and C go, or A, B, C, and D, then it would throw up a code on the indoor units and we would have to figure out what's going on. So anyway, as far as startup goes, there's really not a ton to do, right? Just turn it on and start checking things and make sure it's actually working. Uh, the superheat on these are constantly just moving and fluctuating all over the place. So there's really no, uh, you know, checking superheat. You can't even check uh, subcooling. So that's pretty much it. Just giving a good visual, make sure it's actually working properly. None of the drains are leaking inside the space, that sort of thing. So anyway, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm pleased. The rooms are feeling good. They're super happy. So now, uh, Cesar and his wife, Azul, they traveled here from Mexico City, which is about a 16 hour drive, 
right? They, they found out that we were coming here to do this project and they immediately were like, hey, we wanna be there, we wanna help out, which was amazing. We really appreciate them being here and helping out. Within that time frame of when they told us and when we came, uh, they hooked up and said, hey, we want to buy some tools if you guys could bring them because they own a company in Mexico City with, they said around 12 employees. They do a lot of uh, mainly commercial industrial work and they wanted a bunch of tools, a whole list of tools. So we went ahead, went on True Tech, and we were gonna purchase all of them. But what I decided to do, because they were coming here and helping us out, I wanted to help them out. So I reached out to my friends at True Tech Tools and said, hey, this is what's going on. Are you guys able to help sponsor this project by donating some of these tools? So that way we can surprise Cesar and Azul at the end and say, hey, you actually did not pay for these, these are free. And uh, they jumped on board, they were like, yeah, let's do that. So they actually, they gave us probably more than half of the tools that he was wanting. So today, he knows the tools are here, we were, we've been using the tools, but he thinks that he's buying them from us, he's gonna pay us, and he's gonna take them home. So we're about to go over here now, we're gonna kind of set all the tools out on the truck, and I'm gonna go ahead and surprise them saying that all of these tools here today are donated and they get to take them home free of charge. So let's go do that now. Cesar, Azul. So you guys thought that you're buying all of these tools, but in all reality, we got these tools donated to you for coming and helping us on this project. Thank you. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. <laughs> it doesn't stop there. Okay. RLS. RLS. Give you this whole press kit. <laughs> okay. Muchas gracias. Yes. Wow. Perfecto. Está increíble. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you for your work. Mucho trabajo. Excelente. Sí. Mucho gracias. Muchas gracias. Gracias a ti. You want to use it? Yeah. <laughs> How do you say, let's do some work? Vamos, Vamos a, a trabajar. trabajar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's do some work. All right, so that pretty much wraps up this project. Really hope you guys enjoyed this whole series. Um, I know I sure enjoyed doing the install, meeting all these folks, being out here. It was a blast. And, uh, this is going to be this is going to be some memories that I'm going to have for a lifetime, and we don't want to stop here. We got more buildings in the back. We got so more phases to this project. So please share this video, like it, comment, help get the video out there because this is going to help get our message out there, and uh, to where we can continue to help these folks and more like them. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.